Hey class, so we're going to be looking at this first paragraph from Government in Action. And what I'm going to do is we're going to be focusing on long E sounds. So we're going to learn different ways to spell them. We're going to be looking for examples throughout our text this week. So I'm going to read this first paragraph. In the United States, the national and state governments work together to help citizens. This system of shared powers is known as federalism. The Tenth Amendment of the U.S. Constitution helps define how the two governments work together. James Madison, nicknamed the Father Constitution, further explains this relationship in an essay published in The Federalist. Now, what I have here is I want you guys to look at this word, tenth. tenth. And I want you to look at this word, helps. Helps. And what I want you to do is I want you to think, what sound does that make? Now, I'm going to zoom out so I can access my tools over here. Helps and tenths. Now, what sounds did you think it made? If you said it made a short sound, then yeah, you were correct. So I'm going to circle the best I can this E right here. I'm going to circle this E right here. So those both make the short E sound. Now, I'm going to read another word, and I want you to listen to what sound it makes. The federal government cannot meet. So what do you hear about that one? Well, that one is making a long E sound as well. So let's look at these E's in here. E, E. Now, I'm going to find some more words, and I just want you to listen to their sound. So I'm going to head on over to paragraph five, which is on our next page. And in paragraph five, I want you to look at this word right here. These. So I am going to get rid of, oops, this erasing. And with these, what do you notice? The E's. It makes that long E sound, but this one's different because it has that silent E at the end making that first E say E. Now, this is another way that we can spell long E words. E, 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 vowel, or um, I'm sorry, a vowel constant silent E. So there's gonna be some more patterns that we're going to look at. So we have this chart right here that we're going to be building on. So let me erase our stuff. And we have these words, E-A, E-E, E-Y-Y, I-E-E, other, and short E. All of those make long E sounds, except for the ones that says short E. So here's some words I want us to look at. Alley, be, whoops, alley, whoops, beware, biology, concrete, beat, peer, seam, weird and wet. Now, I'm going to be putting these in my correct section. And while I do that, I want you to think about these various letter patterns and how they can help you if you encounter words that you're not familiar with, how you can pronounce it. So this first one, Ali, I notice Ali is this sound right here. And I'm going to now go to my next one, beware. So B, where, that B, E, where does it go? There's nothing making this E say its name. There's not another vowel by it. This E over here isn't jumping all the way to that one. So this one is an example where a B by itself is going to be our example. So now let's head to our next one. And let me zoom in a little bit for us. Our next one, and let's see if we can So our next one is biology. So this one's a little bit tricky because I don't see an E anywhere in it. But if I listen to the end, biology, E, that Y at the end is making that E sound. So it's this little guy right here that's making that E. Even though it doesn't look like an E. My next one is concrete. So where does that go? That's this first one at the very beginning. This one's like the word these. And that E, at the end, that silent E, 
is making this E say its name. It's my vowel, this first D, consonant, the T, silent E. So remember, consonant is any letter that's not a vowel. So what's my next one? My next one is feet. But this isn't feet like what you have on your body. This is feet like an act of strength. So the feat that he made was amazing. It's something that you do. So what do we notice about feet? Well, it's this E-A. So let's head to our next one now. This next one is peer. And peer, it's a little bit tricky. I personally don't like this one that they gave us, but we are going to see it because it has that R that kind of changes its sound a little bit. But we do hear that E in peer. And this is peer like a fishing peer. Not peer like I'm going to into look somewhere. So now let's head to our next one, which is seam. This one's easy. Seams. Followed by weird. Where is weird going to go? Well, weird, hmm, it's weird. It's going to go in this other one because it actually doesn't follow our pattern of any of these other ones up here. So it's that oddball one. And now we have wet. And wet is a short vowel sound. It makes that F sound, wet. So, so I'm gonna look at that word feet again. So let's scroll back up top. Feet. Let's say I'm writing about a daring feat that someone performed, but I don't remember how to spell feet. I know it wouldn't be like this kind of feat, because I know that word from like first or second grade. And that's the kind of feet that we have in our body. So I can try a vowel consonant vowel pattern like this, but that doesn't quite seem right either. It doesn't look like any word I've seen. So I would just keep trying these other vowel patterns until, oh, this one looks familiar, so it must be this. So that's what I'm going to keep trying. I keep working until I see a word or a pattern that looks familiar to me. Now, what I want you to do is we're going to look in paragraph 17 and 18, and I want you to identify words that have long a or long e and short e sound. And then we're going to try to put them in the appropriate columns. So let me head back to our long e, short e. We're going to look at paragraph 17 and 18, which are going to be more towards the end of our chapter, or more towards the end of our book. 17 and 18. So we're looking at these guys right here starting with working together. So listen for those long E's and short E's. Often, state governments will work together in an emergency. Ooh, I heard it there. For example, when Hurricane Katrina hit New Orleans, several states stepped in to provide help. They offered housing, food, and supplies to help the people help. of Louisiana. States also sent, ooh, there's that short E sound, workers to help clean up and restore power. Another example is when an ice storm hit New England, and the states in the region worked as a team to restore power for the citizens of all the states affected. Individual states also work closely with the federal government in emergencies. The federal government offers financial aid to help states build new homes and rebuild businesses lost in the disaster. So, let's head back. And I'm going to just put some of those words that I found here for us. So one word I found was governments. Now I don't hear a long E in here, so that government, if I could spell it right, is that short E sound. Let's see what another one was. Together. So together is also that short E sound. It makes that F sound to get there. Now, emergency, you probably saw that one because I highlighted it. There's no other word with it, or no other letter with it. So this one is just that E by itself. E, emergency. What else do we have? Well, we have example. Um, we have when. We have several. We have step. So a lot of these are short E sounds, so we didn't have as many long E's as we were hoping for. Help was another short E. But people, hmm, people, I hear a long E there, but it doesn't have any of these other patterns. So this, 
right here is that oddball also. We also have rebuild. Hmm. What do we notice? That rebuild is that E by itself. Re E build. So keep thinking about it. Now we have these words. These are going to be the words we're going to be working with this week for our spelling test. They're centuries, easy, everyone, geography, overseas, representative, residence, and these. So let's put these in our categories really quickly for us, okay? So we have our first one is easy, which is easy. That's that E-A. So our next one, let's go to everyone. Hmm, let's think about that. I'm not sure. So let's go to geography, because I just looked at this pattern right here. G E geography. Overseas, oh, that one's easy. Seeds, C, that E A right here. Now we have representative. Hmm. So this E right here, repre, is making that long E sound. Oh, so maybe it's going to go in this column. Now we have this word, these. So remember, this was one that we looked at at the very beginning. With that vowel consonant, silent E. Oops. So we're going to continue working on this tomorrow. I want to see if you can figure out where these other ones might fit into. Because when I say them, you know, I'm a little bit stuck as well. But I am going to spell this right before we end our lesson. There we go. Represent. All right, guys. Good job. Remember working on long E's and short E's this week.